Hello, welcome to another episode of Think About It. Today's term is feelings. Feelings can refer to physical or emotional experiences. The sensation of pain, warmth, or cold describes physical phenomena. Sensations like comfort, fear, anxiousness, and happiness describe something we experience psychologically and emotionally. Well, today, we just simply want to talk about not whether feelings are are good or bad, just simply managing our feelings. How do we how do we navigate to where our feelings are not detrimental? It's very interesting in some of the things um, that the experts say. They said feelings allow us to experience an endless array of emotions. They are what gives us the ability to experience the joys and sorrows that life and all of its ups and downs brings to us. They also help us to develop and navigate our way through relationships, make important life changes and choices, and identify our responses to events. One of the things that I read that I thought was so helpful is that it's not so much that feelings are good or bad, but feelings are something that must be interpreted. And so it it made me think, how do you interpret your feelings? How do I interpret my feelings? Um, One person can be experiencing um, feelings of euphoria. They're just happy about their situation. And they, they, they interpret it as I'm really happy about what's going on in my life. Somebody else can see that and interpret it as braggadocious. And both of them Both of those um, venues are valid simply because of the interpretation. I hear people say things like, um, I let my feelings get the best of me. Um, I was in my feelings. Um, um, I was feeling some kind of way, you know. And I always found that to be interesting because they never define what way they're feeling. But to show you how important feelings are, they simply say, I was feeling some kind of way. It's totally open to interpretation. What I want us to understand is we try to do so much in clarifying whether something is good, whether this emotion is good or these feelings are good or bad, when we should probably pay more attention to how do I interpret what happens to me? How do I interpret uh, some of the situations that I find myself in? Because the truth of the matter is, you're going to interpret it basically the way you think. You're going to interpret your situation based on the way you think. I like what was said. It says, um, learning to understand your feelings. Our cognitions influence how we feel. This means that the way we see and perceive everyone and everything around us impacts on how we feel. We tend to follow a very simple formula in, the, in this precise order. Listen to this. It's a great article. Thinking. Our thinking influences how we feel. Feeling. What and how we feel impacts our behaviors. Behaving. We behave as a result of what we think and feel. The reason this is important is your thoughts impact so much of not only what you do, but how you perceive it and how you perceive it is how you receive it. So what could actually look like a bad situation could actually be uh, that situation that catapults you into another level of thought that allows you the experience one of the greatest experiences of your life, but you had to go through that, that, that valley to get there. If, if in your life, if you see everything as punitive, if you see everything as punishment, if you see everything as a result of something you did, it's very difficult to get through the tough times if you don't have someone you can trust in that's above and beyond you. And certainly, I'm talking about trusting God. But not to get into any heavy theological situation, the point is, how 
do you see things? How do you perceive them? Every bad situation is not because of some bad decision. Some things in life simply happen. And so I think it would help all of us, both you and me, if we would not see feeling so much as good or bad, but simply something that occurs that can be determined by the way you think. Hmm. Excuse the pun, but would you think about it?